What up, guys? We are back with everybody's favorite class. Today we are doing the last workout of the week. I know you guys have been asking me when we're doing another hit workout. Here it is, guys. Today we're doing yoga lattes sculpt, though. So I will be using weights. You guys do not need to be using weights. This workout is gonna be hard enough on its own. I am going to be using two two pound weights. So guys, if you do not have weights, um, they're really hard to find right now on Amazon and pretty much every store is sold out. I went to the 99 cent store, believe it or not, I got these guys. Two pound weights, they're gonna work perfect for this. Um, I'm also going to be using two eight pound weights. These are a little bit heavier than I'd like. I wish I had five or six, but again, they're really hard to find right now. So I'm just gonna do with these. Um, I'm not going to be doing as much with the heavy weights. You'll notice I go down to the two pound weights quite a bit. Also, if you guys don't have any weights at all, but you'd really like to use some, as long as you're not using glass, you guys can use tin cans. So these, these things will work just fine. Um, yeah, so we're going to break up today's workout. It is going to be hit and Tabata combination. The beginning is going to be just a warm up, Tabata warm up. So it's going to be four workouts. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We'll do that twice through, so it's gonna be about four minutes, and then we'll go through the body of the workout, which is gonna be just a hit class. We'll be using some weights on and off. Again, you guys do not need to be using weights, so just use your own discretion. Um, we'll go through that twice, and then we'll go right down into our core workout. So this is going to be, I would say, about 35, maybe 40 minutes of a workout. You guys can always come back to this later on. Feel free uh, to message me, and I'd be happy to even send you guys the workout. So let's get started. We're going to start with a warm-up. So you guys are not going to need weights right in the beginning. First, we're going to start with the, just the Tabata. So it's going to be 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and we're going to start with high knees. So here we go. 20 seconds on the clock. Let's begin. You want to drive your knees up in towards your chest. I have my hands out in front of me so that my knees are smacking my hips. This way I can go a little bit faster and I can feel my heart starting to race. <laughs> you want to keep your spine long, keep the core engaged here. You've only got about eight seconds left. Woo. And three, two, and one. Okay. 10 second break guys, we're coming into cross jacks. I'm gonna show you what that looks like first. All it is is arms by the side, step it out, jump it out. One foot forward, other foot back. Opposite foot forward, opposite foot back. Here we go, three, two, one, begin. Whew. And you guys can do this slow. You don't have to be going as fast as I am. You can also take it up a notch. So if you wanna go ahead and go as fast as you can, just make sure you reserve a little bit of energy moving into the body of the workout. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, shake that out. 10 second break here. We're coming into goddess squats. So you wanna take up the length of your mat, bring your arms up out to a cactus, and all you're gonna do is squat down, step up, bring the feet together, step out to the other side. 20 seconds, guys. Get low. Keep the spine long if you can. Try to keep the chest up. <sighs> We're almost done with this set. We got one more. We'll cycle through and we'll move on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, 10 second break. Moving into butt kickers. I recommend waiting for that sip of water until after we're done with this warm up. All right, here we go guys. Three, two, one, butt kickers. Exactly the way that they sound. You're trying to kick your heels towards your glutes. You want to stand up really tall. Again, you do not need to go full power on this. Just try to bring the legs up and get the heart rate up. If you want to go ahead and move a little bit faster, just know that these workouts will have you burning fat for the rest of the day. So stick with it. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Now we're going to take a 15 second break. We're going to do that all over again. So. If you guys are still with me, let's keep this going. I'm already sweating. All right, here we go. High knees in five, four, three, two, and one. Really 
easy to let go of the tension of your core right here. I want you guys to pull the stomach muscles in. Try to get the most out of this warm up. Five, four, three, two, and one. 10 second break. Oh, guys, I promise the rest of the workout is pretty low impact. All right, here we go. Cross jacks, arms by the side, begin. I can see my tripod shaking like crazy. I can only imagine the people downstairs what they're hearing right now. <laughs> 10 seconds left. Keep it moving. Five, four, three, two, and one. 10 second break, guys. Shake that out. Keep the legs moving. Coming into those goddess squats again. You want to go ahead and take up some space on your mat. Arms are going to go out. Practice to the sides. Lower down. Get low. Step it up, step it out. 20 seconds. It's really nice out today. I actually wish I could be doing this outside, but if you guys tuned in yesterday, you would know that the service doesn't really work as good as it does in here. <laughs> so we're staying inside. Last three, two, and one. Okay, 10 second break. That last round is gonna be butt kickers, guys. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, let's try to get the heart rate up for this last round. Almost done. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we've got a 30 second break here, guys. We're moving into the actual workout now. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm already sweating after that warm up. I hope you guys are doing this. I hope you guys are sweating a lot too. All right, next one, I'm gonna be using my big weights. So again, like I said, I've got eight pound weights. You do not need to use this big. I wish I had five or six, but I don't. So I'm gonna make these work. Okay, so the first round is going to be lunges and with a row. So you'll step one foot forward, and I want you to bring that back heel really high. You're gonna lunge deep into the front thigh. Make sure the knee does not go over the ankle. And then from here, you wanna bring the weights to touch right in front of you, right at the center of your chest. And then nice and slow, drive it up, elbows in line with the shoulders, lower down, up and down, up and down. We're only here for 30 seconds. Again, I don't know if you guys can tell, but these weights are just a little bit too heavy for me. Whew, I might take it down on the next one. Oh, halfway through, 15 seconds left. Keep the core engaged. You wanna ride that right hip back in space and keep the chest nice and long. You're lifting it up. Three, two, last one, and down. All right, you're gonna set the weights down. I want you to come all the way down on your mat. From here, you wanna take your arms straight out in front of you. Legs are gonna go wide, at least mat distance. From here, we're going into Superman. So it's inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. 30 seconds, guys. Try to connect the breath here with the movement. When you get long, you inhale. When you lower, you exhale. All right, 15 seconds. This is actually harder than it looks. Whew. Try to draw the navel up in towards the spine. Last five, four, Three, two, and one. All right, we're coming back up. We're doing the other side of the lunge. I'm gonna actually drop my weight size down. So, you're gonna be stepping your left leg forward this time. Back heel, again, really high. I want you to lean your chest forward, but keep the spine long. Engage the core, weights come to touch right underneath your chest. Here we go, 30 seconds, drive it up, and down. Up, and down. Give it a little bit of a jerk when it gets up to the top here. Again, you wanna to try to pull the left hip back in space. Keep breathing. We got one more Superman after this. Eight seconds left. Three, two, and one. All right, lower it down. We're coming back down on the mat for that last round of Superman. Oh, okay. Separate the arms, separate the legs. Here we go. Inhale, lift. 
Exhale, lower. Inhale. And exhale. Just keep moving. I want you to feel the flexion in the low back when you lift up. So you're really engaging the muscles through the back as you draw the navel in. 10 seconds left. Three, two, and one. All right, 15 second break, guys. I want you to grab onto the weights of your choice. I'm going heavy on this one. And we'll just start right at the center of our mat. I want you to bring your feet about inner hip width distance apart, maybe a little bit closer, maybe two fists distance apart. From here, you just want to make sure you're going to have some good balance. All it is, calf raise up as you lower, bicep curl, right? Lift it up, lower, curl. 30 seconds, guys. Again, really low impact. So you can use any side weight. You don't even need to be using a weight at all. Keep the stomach muscles engaged, shoulders dropping down. You want a lot of space between the ears and the shoulders here. Just keep moving. All right. Giving the heart a chance to calm down. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Next one, I'm gonna drop it down to weight size. We're coming into squats here, guys. Separate your feet, slightly angle the toes out to the side, not too wide, and not facing completely forward. Just a tiny bit of an angle. You're gonna bring your arms by your sides. From here, it's just a squat down, long spine. As you come up, you press, all right? So it's a shoulder press here. You're gonna get real low here through the quads. Feel that burn. Lift and lower. 30 seconds total. You want to keep a little bit of inner thigh engagement here. So pulling the thighs towards one another. Not too much of an explosion when you reach up. If you're able to really press it up high, you probably got too low of weights. This for me though, with eight pound weights, is too intense on my shoulders. We're gonna finish up here in three, two, and one. Okay, shake that out, guys. 15 second break. We're coming back into those lunges. So, this time it's gonna be a little bit different, though. I want you to step forward with your right foot. Again, back heel super high. You're gonna lean your chest forward, shift the right hip back, squeeze the core, bring your arms along your sides. From here, inhale, extend the arms up. Exhale, pull them back in. Inhale to extend, exhale, back in. Here we go, you wanna keep the elbows squeezing in towards the rib cage. And then when you extend out, maybe you give it a little bit of a pop once they get long. Stomach muscles are drawing in. Oh, we're working everything here. This is balance, core, triceps, quads. Just keep breathing. Remember 30 seconds goes pretty fast. And we are all in this together. I'm doing every move with you guys. I hope you guys all have a big glass of water. We're here for five, four, three, two, last one. All right, drop those weights. We're coming back down onto the ground. From here, arms are gonna go along the sides, palms facing down. I want you to go ahead and take your feet wide. Press down into the palms, keep your chin connected to the mat the whole time. And you're gonna lift the legs and lower. Lift and lower. Here we go, 30 seconds. Really working the glutes here, guys. Again, this one looks really easy, but it's very challenging, especially when you get about 15 seconds through. You really start to feel the fire in the back of the body. Breathe. Remember, in these classes, because we're building so much heat, you wanna breathe in through the nose, exhale out of the mouth, all right? Five, four, three, two, last one. All right, meeting back up on the top of the mat. Got a few seconds to get here. I'm gonna take my low weights again. We're coming back into that lunge. Left foot's gonna be forward this time, back heel super high. Tilt the chest forward, bring the arms along the sides. Here we go, inhale, extend, exhale.
exhale, draw it in. Inhale, and exhale. Out, and in. Squeeze everything, guys. There's a lot of tension in the body right now. Ooh. I want you to fire up that back leg, too. So it's like you're trying to imagine pulling your own mat out from underneath you with the back foot. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I've got sweat dripping off my face. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're coming back down for that glute fly one more time. So let's come all the way down onto the ground. Woo. Arms along the sides, palms facing down. Take the legs wide. Here we go. Keep the chin connected. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Slow with control, guys. Remember, you're pulling the belly button up and in. So you should feel this all through the core. Giant stretch here as you lift those legs up. The biggest challenge, really, is keeping your chin connected to the mat. Eight seconds left. Three, two, and one. All right. 15 seconds. I'm going to grab my small weights. And then we're going to come back up to stand. So, get those weights ready. I want you guys to take your feet out, just like we did in our squat. Take them out wide. Kind of angle the toes out to the sides. Then I want you to lift up onto the balls of the feet. Bring the weights together right at the center of your chest. Elbows wide. Sit low. All right. From here, you're going to twist to the right. Ah, keep your balance. Come back to center. Straighten the legs. Keep the heels up. Lower. Twist to the left. Squeeze the core. Back to center. Stretch it high. Low. Twist right. Center. Straighten. Lower. Halfway through. There's a lot of work on the calves. Three, two, and one. Okay. From here, shake those legs up. We're going to be coming into a chair pose. So, feet come together to touch. I want you to sit low. And then you're going to bring your arms so that their palms are facing one another. And then all we're going to do is bring the arms out to the sides, lower them back in towards one another. Squeeze it up and down. Up and down. Draw the stomach muscles in. Spine is really long. If you can try to lift the center of your chest forward, maybe your gaze will follow. Stay here. Hips low, heart high. All right, we're almost done. Eight seconds left. And three, two, and one. Okay, straighten those legs, shake that out. You'll be taking your feet really wide. You got a few seconds to get here, so take your time. I'm gonna be facing the front of my mat for this first one. So my right leg is gonna go forward. My left foot is gonna stay at 90. From here, I'm gonna extend out find a warrior, and then I'm just going to pull my stomach muscles in and pulse, looking over my right hand. Stay here, tailbone is tucked, just pulse. Keep the legs bent, I want you to bring the arms up, and then bring them down, lower completely, back up, pulse. Keep breathing guys, I know the breath is getting a little bit heavier here, lift the arms up, out, down. One more round. Uh, you guys feeling that in the shoulders? Oh. All right, arms up, out, and down. Straighten your front leg. Right foot comes to 90 degrees. Left foot faces the back of the mat. You're now going to do that on the other side. Here we go. Pulse. Get low. Bring the arms up. And out, and down. Full rotation of the shoulder. Pulse. Remember to 
Let's stay low. Woo. Bring it up. And out. All the way down. Last round. Pulse. Pulse. You guys got this. Woo. I feel all the muscles in my arms are really tense right now. Oh. All right. Bring it up. Out. And down. All right. Come out of that leg stance. We will be meeting down on the mat. You guys, choose what weight you want to use for this next round. I'm going to go light again just because, like I said, I think the eights are just too big for me. But you'll see me using them in some of these. From here, we're coming into a plank. So you can take the weights in your hands, or again, you do not need weights. You're coming in to a full plank. So, squeeze the core, squeeze the glutes. It's going to be a row. Right arm up, drive it high. Left arm up. Give it a little bit of a jerk. Try to keep the hips squared. You don't really want to roll out to the sides here to pull. You want to keep everything activated, your entire front body facing the mat the whole time. Drive it up. Keep squeezing the core. You're halfway done, 15 seconds. Keep breathing. Ha <laughs> ha. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the knees down. This one's gonna be way easier. So, shift the hips from side to side real quick. Just make sure we loosen up all the muscles there. And then as you come into your tabletop, your wrist will be right underneath your shoulders, knees right underneath the hips. We'll start with the right side. Extend the right arm straight out to the right side. And then as you exhale, you're gonna thread it underneath you, tapping your left shoulder, driving your right elbow through. Bring it back out to the side. Pull it back through, twist, squeeze the core. Out, twist, out, twist. Keep this moving. Got about 20 seconds left here. The whole core right here, guys, is activated. So try not to let those stomach muscles hang down. You really wanna squeeze everything up towards the midline. Woo. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, 10 second break here. Maybe you wanna sit back towards the heels. We're just gonna come in and do the other side. So here we go, lift it back up into your tabletop. Left arm extends straight out to the left. Draw it underneath, you grab onto the outer right hip, pull the elbow through. Extend out, pull it through. Here we go. Almost done. 10 seconds left. We'll be moving all completely into our core after this. But don't worry, it's gonna go really fast. And last one. And time. All right. You guys have about 30 seconds here. Oh, I don't even know if I wanna get up close to the camera where you guys can see me, but I'm drenched. I hope you guys are drenched too. <laughs> all right. <laughs> We'll be getting ready to come back into this next one. I'm going to be using weights again. I'm going to be using my low weights actually for this one. Take a sip of water and we'll get started in a second. Okay. So, here we go. Feet are going to come together. I want you to take a deep breath in, lengthen your arms up, exhale, bring your hands down towards your heart. Sit your hips low, inhale, extend your chest forward. Keep your hips low, keep your heart high. We're gonna twist to the left, so you're gonna bring your right elbow to the outside of your left leg, and then from here, keep the knees in line with one another, squeeze the core, open the arms out to the side. Look up at your left hand, and then lower the left hand down. Bring it up. And down. Here we go. This is 30 seconds total also. This one is really challenging. So if you want to take the weight out, take it out. Woo. Keep breathing. Halfway through. Five, four, three, two, and 
and one. All right, come back to center. Inhale, lengthen the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands to your heart and fold. Woo. Inhale, halfway lift. Draw the stomach muscles in. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lengthen the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Here we go. Take a breath in, lengthen the chest. Exhale, sit low. Other side, so inhale, lengthen the chest forward. Exhale to twist right. Left elbow outside of right thigh. Knees squeezing. Open the arms up. And then lower the top arm down. Up. And down. Up. And down. Squeeze that core, guys. It's going to be easier to twist here. Try to find the rotation through the spine. Every time you lift up. Almost done. 10 seconds left. Bear with me. Five, four, three, two, and one. Fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to release. Inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Soften the arms along your side. All right, you're going to release the weights down onto the ground. And you're coming all the way down onto your sit bones. So for this one, I'm actually going to use one of my big weights. We're going to be doing a Russian twist here. So because this is going to be better than me using two two-pound weights, at least I can split up the eight pound now between two hands. So you've got options here. It's either going to be feet down on the mat, really secure the soles of the feet down, and then you want to lean back until you feel it in the core, extend the arms forward. You're going to drop the weight over to one side, bring it up, drop it over to the other. Okay? So this is the modified version. This is going to be the full variation. So you're coming into Navasana, bring the arms up, over, over, and keep that going. You want to keep the chest up, okay? So, excuse me, <laughs> we're doing 30 seconds. You guys choose a variation that works best for you, whatever you can maintain, and here we go. 30 seconds begins now. Squeeze the core. Keep lifting the chest. Gaze is forward to this way. If you look to the side, your legs start to sway to the side. So try to keep your gaze forward. Maybe right at the tip of the toes. Whew. Keep moving. Halfway through. Five, four, three, two, and one. Wow, that was hard. Okay, next one. I'm gonna be using my one eight pound weight for this. My legs are gonna go out nice and long. From here, I want you to just reach the weight forward towards your toes, and then inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, lower all the way down onto your back. Extend the arms high overhead. Take a breath in, and then exhale. Just peel yourself up. Find a roll up, try not to use momentum here. Come back up, lower back down. Here we go, 30 seconds of roll ups here. It's actually a little bit easier if you have a weight in your hand, rather than not have your weights. So notice I'm not using speed coming up. You really wanna activate those core muscles. Squeeze the stomach muscles in on the exhale. When you come up, we're almost done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. I'm going to be coming down to my two small weights. We are doing Pilates double leg stretch. So come all the way down onto your back, pull the knees in towards your chest, get centered here, and then lift the knees so that they're at 90. I want you to pull the knees away far enough to where you start to feel the core activate, and then draw the stomach muscles in. From here, take your weighted hands or non-weighted hands to the outsides of your legs. Take a deep breath in, prepare your body. Exhale, peel your head and chest up. Inhale, get really long. Exhale, pull it back in. Again, inhale. Exhale, with control. Halfway through. Five, four, 
four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down. Moving into our double straight leg stretch. So, again, option to use the weights or not. Because this is sculpt, I'm gonna to try to use the weights as much as I can. But again, this is unnecessary for this pose because we're working the core. I'm gonna take my weighted hands back behind my head, elbows wide, extending both legs all the way up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out the mouth, feel your head and chest up. Keep your arms wide, lower the legs to hover, pull them back up. Inhale to lower, exhale high. Keep moving. Halfway. Ooh, my whole body is shaking. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh. I am dead. <laughs> All right, we got a few seconds, guys. Shake that one out. Ooh. We're gonna come all the way back down on our backs. I'm not gonna use my weights for this next one. We are going to be doing Pilates 100s. So these are already going to be super hard. I want you guys to lower down onto your back, but keep your head and shoulders lifted. And you can either keep your legs bent, or you can straighten them out to the side, up to the, towards the ceiling. I'm going to keep them bent today. Arms along the sides, palms facing down. And we're just going to pulse. Breathe in. And out. That's 10. Nine. Eight, keep pulsing, keep the core engaged. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Last three. Keep moving guys, you got this. Last two. Final one. And lower. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna take some circles with my knees here, pressing my back flat on the mat. And then when you're ready, we're gonna rock it up, plant the hands down, and then we're gonna be coming into a down dog. So pedal the legs out here. We do not need weights for this one. Take your time coming into the down dog. Get that full back stretch here. And then try to heavy the heels. Spread the fingers really wide. Extend the right leg up on your inhale. Keep the foot flexed and we're just gonna pulse. Pulse. Pulse the heel up. So see, I'm not doing anything big here. I'm just working the muscle right underneath the glute. Try to keep your ears in between your biceps. Engage the core. Whew. We're only doing 30 seconds of this. Keep breathing, keep pulsing. Keep those arms really strong. Almost done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Roll forward, three-legged plank. Drive the right knee towards the right tricep. Kick it back. Four, three, two, Last one, kick it back, step the foot down. You're gonna lower down halfway, tricep push up. Come all the way back up into a high plank. Down dog. Other side. Left leg up, flex the left foot. Let's begin. Remember to draw those stomach muscles in. Try to keep the back foot rooted down onto the ground if you can. And you're equally distributing your weight between both palms. Keep pulsing. Woo. Guys, we've only got one more sequence here, and it's really just a stretch. So let's try to get this last one in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Glide forward. Knee to tricep, and back. Four more. Three, two, and one. Kick it back, lower the toes. Lower down halfway. Press it back up. Back into down dog. All right, lower the knees. Crisscross the ankles. And we're coming all the way down onto our back. So, lower down. 
Keep the legs bent. I want you to pull the feet in quite close here. I can actually touch my heels, so that should be a gauge. You want to stay here, spread the fingers really wide. Root down through the feet, lift the hips up. Try to roll the shoulders underneath you if you can. You're going to have good stability here. Extend the right leg up. Flex the foot, lower it down in line with your left knee. Point the toes. Lift it up to 90. Flex, lower it in line. Point, and up. Flex, down. Keep the core lifting up high. Squeeze the glutes. Whew. Keep moving, guys. Oh, I forgot to mention, we're only doing 20 seconds of this. So, huh, you're almost done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the foot, lower the hips. Take your feet wide, let the knees cave in. Maybe you want to take your arms out to the sides. Take a deep breath in. Let it out the mouth. All right, let's walk everything back in. Let's finish up the other side. Here we go, plant the palms down. Move down through the feet, drive the hips up. Roll the inner thighs towards one another, down. And then extend the left leg up, point the toes. Keep the hips high, flex the foot, lower it in line with the knee. Point, up, flex, down. Point, up, flex, down. Remember, it's only 20 seconds. Keep those hips high. Just keep it moving, guys. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the foot, lower the hips. All right, let's stretch this out and get you guys out of here. Extend the left leg long. Flex the left foot. Right knee is going to pull in towards your chest. Interlace the fingers over the right shin. Point the right foot. Draw your shoulders back down towards the mat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze. Again, inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale your right leg up. Take your hands behind the right thigh. I want you to flex the right foot. Point the toes. Flex. Point. Flex. Point. All right. Keep the foot flexed. Extend the arms up towards the foot, but keep your shoulders down on the mat. I want you to take a deep breath in. Exhale, peel up towards the foot. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Inhale, to lower. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last two. Last one. All right, pull the knee right back in towards the chest. Give it a squeeze, and then open it out to the right side. Gaze goes over the left shoulder. Try to keep the hips glued down towards the ground. You're going to take two breaths here. Flex the left foot. Inhale, right knee up to center. Exhale, use your left hand. Pull the right knee across your body. Open the right arm out to the right side. Four breaths here. So bring it right back up to center. Squeeze the right knee in one last time, and then extend it out nice and long. So pull the left knee in towards the chest, interlace the fingers over the shin, flex the right foot, point the left toes. Take a breath in. Exhale, squeeze. Two more just like that. Shoulders pulling back, slight tuck of the chin. Go ahead, extend the left leg long. Take the hands behind the thigh. Flex the foot, point the toes. This should feel pretty good right now. We did a lot of work in the legs. Woo! All right, keep the foot flexed. Extend the arms up, shoulders are down. Take a breath in. Exhale, peel it up. Inhale to lower. Exhale, peel. Inhale down. Keep it moving. Really work that core for this last bit here. Last two. Last one. All right, pull the knee in towards the chest. Give it a squeeze. Exhale, pull it in tighter. From here, you'll open the left knee out to the left side. Gaze to the right. 
Send your breath into the inner left hip. Both hip bones glued down. Last breath here. Pull the knee back up and towards the center. Let's drape it across the chest using the opposite hand. Try to keep the left shoulder down on the mat as you gaze left. Four breaths. Slow down the heart rate if you can. Breathing in and out of the nose. me today for those of you who stuck with it I look like Beetlejuice um, I'm really excited to be sharing these classes with you guys on Fridays Fridays seem to be um, the ones I'm getting the most requests for I changed it up quite a bit today um, last week I think was hit Pilates the week before was hit yoga today was yoga Lottie sculpt so if you guys want this again send me a message if you want one of the previous ones Obviously just let me know or what it is that you guys would prefer to work on. And I am super excited to do this with you guys. Hi Rachel, hi Ani. <laughs> I love you guys, have an amazing rest of your day, have a great weekend and I'll see you on Tuesday. <laughs>